So what's uh, Pepe's highlight of his time at BYU so far? What's one moment where you're like, man, I'm really proud of what I did on this play? Or maybe I, even if it wasn't like you were the star, but you know, you helped the team out or something like that. What's one moment like that? Um, off the field was, sure. well, was yeah. meeting my wife. Ah. <laughs> and, and luckily in um, being the man that being a man that she would want to marry. And that's always going to be, that's now I know why I came to BYU was to meet her. And so um, she'll always be, you know, the number one, number one reason. Yeah. Looking back at her my time at BYU. But, you know, on the field, I always um, will think back to, I had a play at Idaho State where I ended up getting an interception. Yeah. Um, and I just think of that play because it was purely instinctual. Um, you know, there was nothing that could have prepared me for that um, film-wise, right? I hadn't seen them run that play. I hadn't seen, um, I hadn't prepared for that. But, yeah. you know, all my time at Navy, we'd practice, you know, thousands of times against the cut block. Um, and just, you know, with Coach Tuyaki, we're big on getting hands up and getting in throwing lanes. And so it was just a combination of those two things that just kind of came into into fruition naturally. Yeah. That just kind of shocked me. And, you know, halfway through the play, when I had the ball, I didn't even realize, you know, what was happening. Yeah. Had I, had I realized. It's like, such a fluid thing. Yeah. All those reps paying off this, like, fluid thing. Exactly. Yeah. That's cool. You got the fusion of seeing the cut block at Navy with fusing together with getting something that Coach he taught you. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. That's a really cool thing. Um, so, got to ask you about your Arizona State sack oh yeah we talked about it we talked about mm -hmm. it off camera a while ago and you credited the fans on yes. that tell, tell them about that tell cougar nation thank you for the sack we told them thank you thank you cougar nation <laughs> no so i mean we were what was it fourth it was a third down he was third and, and long yeah, third and long yeah. but, but the two prior plays there was false starts on the yeah. offense because we were right in front of the rock yeah and they were it was the loudest i've ever experienced I remember um, Earl, two OT Mariner, had just subbed in, and I was trying to give him the call that, <laughs> oh, you know, that we had, and, and he was sitting, him. you know, sitting or standing right, you know, from me to you, and I was screaming at him, top of my lungs, and he couldn't hear me. <laughs> he didn't even turn. He didn't even turn. And that's, you know, that's how loud it was. And I don't blame, you know, the Arizona State. I would have jumped off sides myself. Yeah. Go to a clap all you want. Exactly. Go to the clap. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so. Credit to the fans for you know pushing them back into that situation and making it uh, possible for me to get that sack. So and you yeah there you go and you kind of know third and long maybe it's a screen but you can kind of cheat a little bit and tee yeah. off and just go for it right mm -hmm. like down a distance know where you're at the field yeah okay now I want to switch gears to talk about your amazing Fortnite victory. <laughs> <laughs> you remember this? Yeah. You remember this? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're talking about your amazing Fortnite victory coming out on top over the Lane Lunt, mm -hmm. Mason Wake, Carter Wheat, all these phenomenal Fortnite players. Pepe comes out on top of all of them, and it was all you, right? Nope. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so first of all, tell, tell, me about, tell me the background of this. Like, when like, we reached out to you to play in that tournament, mm -hmm. and like, what you told us, like, just tell the whole story. I love this story. I remember when, when you first approached me. And I had heard a little bit about it. And I, when I heard the game was going to be Fortnite, I was like, ah, oh, you know, Fortnite's not my game. I played it when it first came out when no one could build. And it was great. It was awesome. It was I loved it. Game, I loved it. Yeah. And then people could learn how to build and, you know, just, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just had to cut it for me. And so it had been, been a couple of years for me since I played. And I knew, you know, <laughs> that Mason Lane, that those guys play a lot yeah. and were really good. And so I was a little bit apprehensive at coming on to play and so but i told you yeah until, i told you until, <laughs> until a certain guy was added to my team and you know he for sure carried me so we we actually so Coo connected the tournament right mm -hmm. but we found that guy through cougar board oh, okay yeah so cougar board is uh there's a guy on there whose son is rogue shark and that was your tb mm -hmm. tell us just give us a sampling for everyone at home like well what kind of numbers was he putting up what was he doing I couldn't, I can't even remember. I just remember, I don't remember the exact numbers. I just remember seeing, there's a, there's, for those who don't know, in Fortnite, there's in the top, like, right corner, there's the number of people who are still in, in the game. 
Um, and that number just kept going down and down and down super fast, way faster than I remember it going down. And it was just, I could see in the, <laughs> the corner of my screen of the history of who was killed and who was eliminated from the game. And it was just Rogue Shark eliminated <laughs> XYZ. Rogue Shark eliminated this person. And that was just, yeah. man, I was lost, but he, yeah. was, he was doing work. So we were at gig, right? And I was like running around to all, <laughs> all different places, like trying to like keep tabs on everybody and everything. There's one time I came into your room at the back of gig and uh, I just checked on it, and he had uh, 32 kills and I think three assists. Yeah. And then he had all your guys' cards, mm -hmm. and you got a bonus point if you were all alive at the end or a bonus five points. So he saved your cards, rebooted you all, and then went and like won the whole thing by yep. himself. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. There was some angry cougars, man, <laughs> at that game. Like I could tell, like I could tell, Mason was upset. Yes. Mason didn't stick around and chat me up like girl. Mason was out. Okay, I can tell Lane was frustrated. Yeah. Like, that was so funny, dude. Yeah. It was so funny. But, yeah, that was fun, man. Did you have a good time with that? Oh, I loved it. Shout yeah. out to Rogue Shark out there. Yeah, wherever you are, Rogue Shark, we appreciate you. You made yes. that whole night memorable. <laughs> yes. For everyone.